Hey guys, I wanted to make a video about this um, this holder I made for my micro motor. I wanted to cut stone with a trim saw, but I don't have one. I had these trim saw blades that fit the micro motor, but it's too shaky to really use them properly and get straight cuts. So I wanted to make like a holder um, for my uh, micro motor that I could sort of have a table so I could um, cut stone easily, and it works really well. Here, let me show you guys. I don't, I don't want to. Um, have the water dripping with the camera because it'll get it wet. So just a quick test I'll just spray it down just to show you it has a, a Tank inside that I that I could fill with water or I could what I normally do is have water dripping on it I have a splash guard. Um, I put bearings inside here and um, yeah, let me show you Works great. I don't want to get the camera wet, so I don't want to do it too much but um, yeah, that's my, um, my, my, I guess I called it trim saw attachment for my micro motor. I was on a Facebook um, group recently and there were some people talking about Dremel and flex shaft and comparing, um, discussing which was better. And I was a little surprised that nobody brought up micro motors. Uh, I think they're, they're better than either of them. If you don't know what a micro motor is, it's basically a rotary tool here, let me pull this out and show you. It's basically a rotary tool that has interchangeable hand pieces like this. Um, here, let me move the camera and I'll give you a better shot at what it is. So that's a micromotor. It's basically a controller with a forward and reverse switch, speed controller, um, and it's connected by a wire instead of like a flex shaft that has a big heavy cable. This is just a light wire, so it's much, much more comfortable to use something like this if you're working long, long term. But it's not just the comfort that makes this better. It's the fact that the hand pieces are interchangeable. So if you are doing like Dremel type work, you would use this hand piece. If you needed something with a right angle, this is the contra angle hand piece. It just snaps in. Um, this would work more like, I guess, a mini angle grinder if you're sanding or... And then another hand piece that I have is this one. This is a um, reciprocating hand piece. It moves up and down. So you could put um, saw blades in here or, or um, f files. I use the, the reciprocating one for embossing leather a lot. I use it for texturing metal and jewelry work. So yeah, I mean, uh, oh, another cool thing about these is that, let me see if I can find it. It comes with this, which basically slides onto the neck of the tool, and it's basically, I don't know if you can see that, it's basically um, a water supply. So if you're cutting or drilling or sanding, you can have coolant coming directly off the tip to keep your piece cool, which is just really, really helpful. So a lot of people, well, most people don't really know about micromotors. They were originally used for dentists, and then Fordham started selling um, a line of micromotors. I think the Fordham one is about 500 bucks, which is a little pricey, but I got this one for $100 from China. I think that they have them on Amazon right now. This is called the Marathon 3. It doesn't come with the reciprocating handpiece. It comes with the foot pedal, which you don't see it, but there's a foot pedal. It comes with the, 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 the power supply, the, mo the, the motor, and it comes with these two hand pieces, the Contra and the regular hand piece. And you get all of that for like a hundred bucks. So that's like a super good deal. And I've had this thing for almost two years. And it's just great. Um, some of the people that um, on the forum, when I brought up micromotors, how I thought they were better than flex shaft and Dremels, a couple people that knew about them said, yeah, but, they're, but the flex shaft has a lot more torque. And that's, that's true, but I've yet to find anything that I was using it for that needed that much torque. I mean, let me show you how, how this works. Um, one thing about these guys is they take um, 2.3 millimeter bits. They don't take the standard Dremel bits. So, um, oh, another, they're quick release also. So the piece slides in, you twist the neck here and it's it's in there there's no collet or, or chuck key or anything annoying like that but if you want to cut metal with it let's see 
no problem cutting metal. This is hardened steel. So there's no problem with torque. Doesn't even slow down. Um, let me see if I can find... Oh, oh, so if you have Dremel bits already and you don't want to buy a whole new set of these 2.3 millimeter bits, they sell a, uh, an adapter here. So this slides in here and now you have a chuck here that can accept Dremel bits. This isn't the best solution because it makes the, um, the tip a little bit more unstable in high speeds because it's protruding so further, so much further out from the tip. But it, it's totally sufficient. I mean, unless you're, you're operating it at a super high speed, it's totally fine. So I picked this bit because it's super toothy. So if this didn't have enough torque, th th this would be an issue. It would totally stop when you tried to grind anything with it. So let's see. So yeah, I mean, no problem. I mean, I don't, uh, and that was, that was at 10% power. So, um, so yeah, I don't think torque is an issue. And because of the, the lightness of these and how thin they are, I find them just much more um, flexible in terms of what I could do with them. I got this. This is a um, this is a, a microscope stand, and what I do is I put the handpiece in here, and I can operate it as a little mini drill press, which is super cool. I use that all the time, and yeah, and like I showed you with with this attachment, I mean I'm cutting. Um, I'm cutting stones and cabochons and everything with this little diamond wheel and the motor on the on this handpiece is is totally sufficient so so I don't know I mean maybe there's some uses that a flex shaft the a little bit of extra torque that a flex shaft gives you is um, is needed for me I mean I do metal work and um, some woodwork but mostly metal and stone work I haven't needed even half the power that this thing has. And this is one of the weaker ones. They sell more powerful ones, um, but they're, the, the handpiece is a little bit heavier, so I, I like this one better. Comes with a little holder for it. Comes with these cases that hold, hold the handpieces. Anyway, that's my um, micro motor and my, my diamond, um, I don't know what you call it, I guess a trim saw attachment. I have a ton of acrylic at work, um, spare acrylic. It's like literally collecting dust. So if anybody um, has a micromotor and they like this little diamond attachment, say so in the comments because I um, wouldn't mind cutting, laser cutting, because I made this all from laser cut. I made everything, like the whole thing just, um, I don't know if you know about, um, uh, it's basically plastic welding. It's like you use a solvent to fuse the, the acrylic together. This entire thing was just um, laser cut and then solvent fused. So it's got a splash guard, it's got a tank to hold the water. Um, anyway, it's, it's, it's cool and it works really, really well. And I wouldn't mind um, giving a few of these out to some people that might want them because I literally have a ton of acrylic that I'm um, trying to get rid of. I would just laser cut them and, and send it to you for free if you really want it. Just say so in the comments. Um, you'd, you'd have to assemble it, obviously, but I, would, I wouldn't mind sending you the parts. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care.